You're watching ABC. And what if an accident happens? Will your loved ones truly be taken care of? Zane, once again, I don't want to buy insurance from you. Give me one good reason. You're 13. You see, that's just ageism. <laughs> hey, have you got anything for Ted yet? Nothing says Merry Christmas like full coverage for accidental death or dismemberment. How about macrame pot holders? Or ice cream stick picture frames? Or, you know, we could... Hey, what's going on over here? The Von Cheapingtons are trying to decide what to make for Christmas gifts. Ooh, homemade gifts. Hey, those are always a treat, aren't they? Or we can make a calendar like we did two years ago. Make sure you dress like a chimpanzee for St. Patrick's Day again. I was a leprechaun. Yeah, sure you were, Bobo. Hey, maybe our homemade gifts don't cost that much, but... What are you talking about? They don't cost anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're in. This is Ted Hiller. This is Neil Diller. Together they write a TV show. These are the Hillers, these are the Dillers, and that's all you need to know. Don't look now, but the holidays are here, and there's a better way to save for the holidays at Kmart. All the best gifts are all at Kmart's best prices. Save 20% on all plush toys, including Sesame Street and Barney characters. A huge selection of convenient kitchen appliances are just $19.99 each. Then save 30% on all family outerwear and sweaters. A whole store full of famous name brands and low, low prices. This holiday, there's a better way to save. Kmart. Disney's Flubber has bounced into McDonald's and theaters near you for a holiday event that's gonna rock. For a limited time, our very own tempting and cheesy triple cheeseburger is back for just 99 cents. Or you can kick off your morning with a world-famous 99-cent Egg McMuffin. But you better get moving. Go Flubber. Go Flubber. Or you'll flub up your chance to get your hands on one. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down This Sunday... Thank you for taking me to meet my dad. One amazing horse will risk it all to reunite a boy with his family. Flash, ABC Sunday at 7, 6 Central. Funniest Videos is now an all-new show. How can you be sure? You can tell it's new because we're here. She is good. Daisy Fuentes and John Kugelsang host videos two weeks from Monday on ABC. Okay, I got that. What's next? Oh, okay. Attach ratchet number B, screwing bracket, putting together cog number A, looking at diagram three, and seeing. Me looking at diagram three and seeing. Well, you know, as long as you're going to do that, I might as well take care of, you know, Brook and Zane's gift. Take cash out of wallet number A. <laughs> inserting into envelope letter two. <laughs> seeing... And hey, it's done. Hey, how's it going? Uh-oh. Gordon is driving me crazy. I mean, why did I ever agree to help out with this stupid office party in the first place? You did it because Gordon asked you. And because you're such a nice person, you said yes. You know, I, I am a nice person, but you know, I guess I also hoped I could make it a better party. Is Gordon still going to sing that goofy medley of Hanukkah and Christmas songs with that ding-dong-ding-dong crap? Oh, yeah. Oh, then it's hopeless. I mean, who holds an office party on Christmas Eve anyway? I got to get out of this. Hey, whatever you do is fine with me, hon. But, Teddy, come on, we got to get the rehearsal. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, Jeannie, come here. Hey, look, <laughs> run to the mistletoe. <laughs> Top of the holiday season? Hey, Gordon. I'm standing under the mistletoe, aren't I? Oh, yeah. I'll stop. Well, I see you two are hard at work. Well, this is the only place we can keep these gifts without the kids finding them. Wow, fascinating story. Promise you'll tell it to me again and again. Merry Christmas to you, too, Gordon. Janie, I have a quick note about the uh, seating arrangements for the party here. You have Katie way too close to the bar. 
Now, you at least have to make it a challenge for her. You understand? The buffet table... Gordon, I... I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I've been thinking about this, and uh, I can't help you with this party anymore. Why? Well, look, you, know, you, you and your wife, you've been organizing this party for years. I mean, I, I'm just in the way. You, know, you and Esther should just do it like always. So, uh, I'll see you on Christmas Eve. She left me. What? You know what? It's not your problem. I will, uh, I'll pay to have somebody come in and, you know, help out with the, uh, party. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Esther left you? What happened? Well, I don't know. She gave several reasons. I don't listen to her. I don't pay attention to her. I'm emotionally distant. She was very unclear. <laughs> well, why didn't you tell anybody? I'm the boss. Bosses don't have problems, bosses solve problems. You can't be an authority figure with people walking around feeling sorry for you. So nobody knows? No, and that's the way I want to keep it. So promise me you won't tell anybody, especially Ted. Well, I... Jeannie, please, promise me. Okay, okay, I, I promise you. You know, Gordon, if it's okay with you, I'd, I'd still like to help you with the party. Oh, is this out of pity? Does it matter? Not really. Let heaven and nature sing. Let heaven and nature sing. Let heaven, let heaven and nature sing. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. But if you tell anybody at school about this, I'll pretend not to know you. Well, that'll be different. Okay, here's cheese vlog number 20, and that's everyone on our gift list. Great. Now all you have to do is my list, and we're done. Let's go. Hey, Neil, why do Jewish people eat latkes on Hanukkah? We're supposed to eat food cooked in oil. How come? Because, you know, I, I think it's because we're supposed to celebrate the, you know, the bad complexions of the ancient Hebrews. Don't you want your kids to have some sense of their roots and heritage? Yeah. You know, my great aunt Tilly, she had enormous breasts. Mm. I guess Brooke should know that. Gordon. When I've been at the mall all afternoon, I don't want to go back there again. All right, 150 Santa hats. Yeah, that will be a hoot. I gotta go out again. Hey, I thought you were gonna quit. All right, I changed my mind. How come? Because, uh, I'm having fun. Something's going on. She's keeping something from me. Oh, my God. An affair. With Gordon. She said she was going to quit working on the party, but then she didn't. Why? You know what? I think Gordon threatened her. With what? I think he made her think that, you know, if she would quit, that uh, he would make it really rough for you, you know, at work. What do you mean? What do you mean what I mean? You know, that you'd have to stay late, you would do more work, you'd have to park in Lot C, you know, the whole deal. Lot C? Then I'd have to run across the freeway. <laughs> well, he couldn't do that, could he? No, but, you know, Jeannie doesn't know. Well, so he's got her thinking that she's protecting me. You bet. <laughs> he has got no respect for other people's feelings. None. Christmas is a family holiday, and if anybody's gonna take advantage of Jeannie's good nature, it's gonna be me and the kids. <laughs> you go, girl. Shane might hooking into, but where? With wrench, ease over wheel nut. <laughs> Looking at diagram, letter three, and sing. When I'm finished with this, Josh is gonna ride this bike 20 hours a day. No school, no outside interests, no friends, just bike riding. Hey, Gordon. We're under the mistletoe bed. Listen, where's the missus? Uh, I wanted to replace our rum balls with figgy pudding. I think you might have to go to Sweden for that operation. <laughs> when she comes up here, just tell her I want to see her immediately. No. Look, Gordon, Jeannie's not having a good time working on the party. Your point being? And I can't stand by and let her be this miserable. Miserable? Well. 
course you had no idea, because you don't listen to people. You don't pick up on things. I mean, who else would hold an office party on Christmas Eve? That's when people want to be home with their families. So, nobody wants to come to the party, is that? <clears throat> well, hey, uh, you know, uh, there's obviously no reason to throw a party. You know, if uh, nobody, hey, I don't have to sing my medley. I just, you know, I just thought it might be uh, festive. <laughs> well, uh, everybody, I have an announcement. This year's Christmas party is canceled. Hey, you're a hero, buddy. This calls for a celebration. I'm gonna get a candy bar. Hey, hi. Hey, get Ted to tell you the good news. What's going on? Oh, honey, I was talking to Gordon, and I made him cancel the party. Oh, my God. You're welcome. <laughs> Poor Gordon. Poor Gordon? What are you talking about? Look, look, if I tell you something, you have got to promise me that you won't tell anyone else, including Neil. Okay. Gordon's wife left him. You're kidding. <laughs> Esther walked out on Gordon? Yes. Why do you think I'm still working on this stupid party? Because he threatened you? Or... <laughs> Why do you say these things? <laughs> oh, man, what a mess. You think it's too late to uncancel the party? <laughs> I got an idea. Wisdom doesn't come easily, nor is it easy to pass on. Now Philips has a way to create your own CD that holds everything you know about the things that interest you and share your words, pictures, and music with anyone you want. Let's go! Got anything for the pictures? The Philips CD rewritable disk drive. Create CD-ROMs on your own PC. Whose diamonds help more husbands say, I love you? Whose jackets help more wives say you deserve it? J.C. Penney, the gift experts, where you'll find the season's most popular styles of sweaters. Shimmering crystal from Gorham, Oneida, and Mikasa. And the hottest colors in dress shirts. Let the gift experts at J.C. Penney help you say happy holidays. J.C. Penney, I love your style. Now through Christmas, save on all Mikasa, Gorham, and Oneida crystal. Bond. James Bond. ID confirmed. ID confirmed. Tart. Take a check. Absolutely, James. Just need some. ID. Really, Dublin, no, so you should use a Visa check card. It automatically deducts from your checking account everywhere Visa's accepted. See, tomorrow never dies. Elaine Klein can tell you. When your boys depend on you to be both mother and father, you can't let the flu keep you down. So Elaine depends on Tylenol flu. It's the only one that starts with extra strength Tylenol, then adds maximum strength flu medicines to relieve her worst aches and congestion. Mom, can you be the bad guy now, please? I think I can handle that. Tylenol flu. Strength you can trust. A murder for the thrill of it. Did you hear her screaming? It's more than Bobby can stand. What choices if I got? None. And YPD Blue, ABC Next. You don't know it yet, but you've just been bumped down the food chain. This January, pray. ABC Thursdays. Okay, we're supposed to be making 40 cheese logs an hour. We're only making three. My hands hurt. Oh, me, me, me. It's Christmas. How about taking a little time to think about Zane? What can we do for Zane? How can we help Zane? How can we get Zane to shut up? Simple. Quit crying and start making more cheese logs, you slackers. And remember, you drop it, you eat it. <laughs> So, in light of the fact that Gordon was heartbroken about his wife leaving him, was there anything that I said that may have been hurtful? <laughs> Pretty much everything. Oh, man. So, what are you guys going to do about Gordon? 
Feel bad yet remain uninvolved? You know, I just can't stand the thought of him sitting alone in that house. No wonder he won't have the party on Christmas Eve. He needed a place to go. What are we supposed to do? Invite him over here? I can't believe us. It's, it's Christmas. I mean, isn't this the season when we're supposed to do something that's nice? I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I think we should invite Gordon over. I think that would be nice. Oh, wait a minute. Time out. Flag on the play. Come on. Gordon's not supposed to know that we know that his wife left him. Yeah, so what are we going to say to him? Hey, we're writers, okay? If we can't come up with something, then we're not worthy of the profession. I'll call him. Oh, thank you, honey. Ooh. Whoa! Huh? Holy <laughs> Vitsi Vanu. La Bouli. La Hodlickner. I tell you, it's amazing that I remembered that. Yeah, I can't believe I did either. Okay, everybody, back to the kitchen. The cheese isn't getting any fresher, and it was iffy to begin with. So move! Neil, I know how you like people to think you're cynical about the holidays, but I caught you smiling when you were lighting that menorah. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. I was thinking about Hanukkah when I was growing up. I'll tell you, it was something. You know, we would light the candles, and then my mother would yell at my father to put on a shirt. <laughs> And he'd be yelling at her because the brisket was too tough. And then my brother would knock over the menorah and set the drapes on fire. That's terrible. Why were you smiling? Because I'm not there anymore. That's enough, Zane. We quit. You know, you've sucked all the fun out of Christmas. Christmas isn't about fun. It's about cheese. It's about the story of Jesus. <laughs> That's Jesus, you moron. Okay, now remember, guys, I want you to be extra special nice to Gordon. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, it's really kind of complicated. His wife dumped him? <laughs> Who didn't see that coming? <laughs> hey. Hi. Hey. Hi. Uh, first off, I just want to apologize. My wife, Esther, couldn't be here tonight because she, she had Indian food last night. It's better if you don't know anymore. <laughs> I uh, get you some eggnog or pfeffer news? Oh, indeed. Indeed. Here you go, Teddy. Thank you. Boy, look at this tree. Oh, my. It's beautiful. Look, the menorah, the lights. Well, I should go. Oh. Well, no, it's just, you know, I have so many people to see tonight. The, the oh. Pat Sajaks have invited me over to go caroling. And, you, you know, Gordon, I, I have... Gordon, can I uh, see you in the kitchen for a second? Oh, sure, sure. <clears throat> Gordon, do you really have someplace else to go this evening? I don't even know Pat Sajak. <laughs> Gordon, why don't you stay for a little while? We're going to decorate the tree, and, and you can put the star on top. Uh, honey, honey, Gordon's going to put the star on top of the tree. What a gif! That's my job! I hate you! <laughs> Josh! Boy, this is going to be the best Christmas and, ever. Yeah, I'm sorry. He didn't mean that. No, no, it's not him, Jeannie. It's me. I'm just, I'm a complete mess. Well, is there anything I can do? I miss Esther, Jeannie. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I'd miss her this much, but I do. It feels like my heart is being ripped out of my... God, this place is a pigsty. <laughs> Christmas is so much better than Hanukkah. The songs are better, the food is better. Yeah, I guess the only thing Hanukkah has going for it is that uh, we get presents for eight days. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please, give it up for Hanukkah. Thank you. Yes. yes. Hey, everybody, Gordon's decided to stay. Oh. Yay! Boo! You know, Gordon, we're all glad you're here. <laughs> well? Really glad. Oh. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> I, I think this is the... Uh, the first time that I've been to your house for Christmas. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> you, 
You all know, don't you? <laughs> Gordon. Well, thank you uh, very much for your fake hospitality. <laughs> Merry Christmas to all. And to all, good night. Now, if someone would just set the drapes on fire, it would really feel like the holidays, you know? <laughs> Mr. Ted, this is uh, from last Christmas in Maui. This is a picture of you with John Tesh and Connie Selica. <laughs> Esther took it. <laughs> oh, God, who's going to take the pictures uh, now, Ted? <laughs> Have you called her? I picked up the phone 50 times. What am I going to say? You know, it's not important what you say. It's that you call. Well, I can't. Because you know what? I'd probably just make things worse. Worse than this? Why don't you uh, go home, Ted? Because you've got friends and family to spend Christmas with. So do you. You've got friends. I have connections. I have acquaintances. I have underlings. I have no friends. I'm your friend? No. You're a nice guy, Ted. You'd be friends with anyone. You're friends with Neil, for God's sake. <laughs> really, just go home. I can't. I'm here for the Christmas party. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Happy Hanukkah! Merry Christmas! What is this? What is this? When you ran out, Teddy and I put our heads together to try to come up with some kind of plan, and uh, while we were doing that, uh, Jeannie called everybody to come down here to the party. Brian here came all the way from El Monte. Brian! Gordon, I know this isn't the best Christmas you ever had, but we do care about you, and we would really love to hear your medley. Please. You're just saying this out of pity. Yeah, but so what? <laughs> come on. Come on. Well, thank you for this, uh, for this gift. You're all very, very, very nice people. You're good people. I just wish I'd realized that when I was writing the checks for your Christmas bonuses. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh, but they're, uh, they're really very small. <laughs> you know, uh, the holiday season means a lot of different things to a lot of different people, Christians, Jews, Kwan, whatever God you pray to. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, of course. But I think we can all agree that it's the music that makes this time of year so very special. A walk, two, a one, two, three. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I made you out of clay. And when you're dry and ready, oh, Tannenbaum, you're marvelous. Oh, Tannenbaum, by Gunsing die in a blatter. Do Gunsniff noose or summer sight. I just made another dreidel. Again, I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, oh, dreidel, I will play. Ding, dong, ding, dong. Ding, dong, ding, dong. Come on. Ding, dong, ding, dong. Oh, I love ding, it. Dong, what a crowd ding, tonight. Dong. Hark are the bells, sweet silver bells. All seem to say, throw cares away. One seems to hear words of good cheer from everywhere, filling the air. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy Hanukkah, everybody. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Hanukkah. We wish.
wish you a Merry Christmas. Thank him. I'm going to call my wife. Christmas. What are you going to say? I have no idea. Jeannie, I... You're welcome, Gordon. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy Say, Jeannie, holiday. you know we're uh, standing under the mistletoe. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy year. Keep your levels tuned to ABC. Hiller and Diller will be back in a moment. So what are we going to do tomorrow? The new redesigned Ford Ranger. The only compact pickup built Ford tough. I see skies of blue and clouds of white and I think to myself what a wonderful world. Introducing Lauder Pleasures for Men. Ow! So you think Santa will like these red and green M&Ms? I don't know. I never met the guy. <laughs> he does exist. They do exist. Oh. Uh, Santa? The day is near. It's almost time. Now's my chance to really shine. The perfect gifts just wait and see. Then how about something just fine? The merry side of Sears. Merry Christmas. Peter. Merry Christmas. Everyone's asleep. Shh, I know how to wake them up. Come on. I missed you, Mom. Happy holidays from Folgers. Wednesday, thinking of sending last-minute holiday gifts? Primetime puts mail-order foods to the test. Don't buy a thing until you see the results. Primetime, Wednesday. Wednesday, Drew and Kate in a vacation paradise. But how far will it go? I have more fun with you than with anyone else. Oh, get up! My legs are asleep! My legs are asleep! <laughs> Then it's time Ellen and Lori make that big decision. What is so crazy about the idea of us living together? Obviously, you've never seen a little program called Laverne and Shirley. ABC Wednesday. Mm, I love this cheese. <laughs> hey, Daddy, can I take my bike outside and ride it around? Mm, you bet. And you tell all your friends your dad built that. <laughs> 